Continuing our series of Kawai Concert Series Digital Pianos, we've looked at the top of the line, we've looked at the bottom of the line. Today we're looking at the middle of the line and I'm presenting the CA501. Stick around. Hi, this is Ted with Alamo Piano Galleries. You can find us online at alamopianogalleries.com. Look for our locations, and we may have a location near you. Come on in, play some instruments, and talk pianos. Visit with us. We'd love to have interaction with customers, past customers, to-be customers, referrals, all that. Send it to us. Again, today I'm looking at the midline of the Concert Artist Series from Kawhi, the CA501. It's a great lovable keyboard, and I'm going to get into that in just a moment, today I have a piano fact, and it's a recurring piano fact, and I was stumbling around looking for one, <clears throat> and our production guy said, hey, you mentioned this a couple times. Let's go back. Let's go back to Michael Silverman, Antonio Daskalova, and to Ace Denise. And here's what we talked about. How big of a reach piano players have, and at what age do they acquire a reach? Everyone remembers the first time they met an octave. So today's Piano fact is, why does it take so long to reach an octave? And sometimes you also see what, what I'm talking about is particularly key with. And in all those previously mentioned interviews, I discussed key with with those pianists and composers. And they all had it about the same insight, even though it didn't really apply to them. And that's kind of been my attitude on it until I started looking at it and started listening to teachers and particularly understanding that the majority of piano teachers in the world are females and that the majority of the students in the world are children. And so the standard key width on a piano for one octave is six and a half inches. And there are a few manufacturers that make a six inch piano octave and specialty manufacturers that make 5.5 inch octaves. That means instead of being this wide, the keyboard comes in and a player can reach an octave plus maybe two keys, that would be a tenth. And a lot of times that is exactly what it takes to master the literature of the piano. On a 6.5, it's really hard to do. And because sometimes the stretches of a tenth can go from a white key to a black key or a black key to a white key, and it really requires a lot of extension. So think about the standard size of key width, and I'm going to pick this topic up in more detail in the future, but for all instances and comparable, it's always nice to have some kind of form of measurement and you can look at why you like a piano, not just for the width of the keys, but also think of how far that keyboard is in length and that's a whole different conversation and key components. But I really wanted to mention the width because younger piano players and piano players with smaller hands are always, without a doubt, behind the eight ball, behind the power curve of mastering piano literature because they have a difficult time reaching an octave and even a harder time reaching a tenth. And so with that, I'm going to go into the Kawhi Concert Series Artist Model CA501. And it actually has ivory touch key surfaces and ebony touch key surfaces like a real piano. And it has what's called the Grand Feel 3 Compact Wooden Key Wood Action on it. And that means that it plays like a wonderful thing, and it really does play like a wonderful thing. It also has a few other listed things in it. They have a triple sensor, and what the triple sensor really does is it, it gives you the detail of three things, attack, decay, and release on a piano. So the attack is fast or slow, and you get a certain kind of sound that way, and how hard you hit it, whether it's just fast or slow, and then when you let go. All of that is transpired into the touch on this instrument and they've made it better. And when it comes to the sounds, I can tell you the one thing about this, the sound that is great on every model and on this one it really rings is the SKEX Competition Grand Sound. And that alone makes this piano with just that sound and this keyboard and the way that they put together the amplifier and speaker system, which I'll get into in a bit. It just makes it a really wonderful console upright piano, which is how Kawhi refers to it in their description. 
And the other thing I wanted to talk about is they also have the XKEX rendering sound, and it allows you to go in and control and manipulate all the different kind of factions you may like about the piano, and you can store them and keep them in there. You can change certain tunings. You can extend stretches or make them smaller or bigger on the high end or the low end. And you can also um, set up through the virtual technician and, and make the piano personally your own. And they present all of this through what they call their advanced audio processing amplifier and speaker system. And they've got it narrowed down to what they call the 360 degree sound field. So this sound just kind of comes at you from all around like it does on a regular acoustic grand, provided you put the uh, upright acoustic grand, uh, upright piano, not acoustic grand. It has the action of acoustic grand. You put it up against the wall, it's supposed to sound exactly like an upright piano. And it does, right around the 7 to 8% or the 70 to 80% market on, uh, on the volume control. It hits right about where a regular acoustic grand piano of about 48 inches would hit. And with that, I think we're going to go ahead and have a listen. And then we come back, I'll talk about the speakers and the headphone connection and also Bluetooth.
one thing I wanted to mention, particularly because I had left off about their uh, harmonic imaging sound card uh, for their sounds, is that the headphones are very useful in this piano because that on the SKEX Competition Grand, that sample is done where it's, it's sampled from the perspective of the player. And so they have the uh, microphones that are faced in the direction to where it's just like getting input into your ears. And uh, that is the one different sample from all of the other samples uh, which they normally have and it makes this one really, really exciting. And the other thing is they have a two by uh, 50 watt sound system for both for the left and the right channel for the separation of the stereo sound. There's a 256 key uh, polyphony on it and they've got about, uh, I think there's two six inch uh, speakers in there and the others are like three by four. There's two of those as well. And uh, the other thing, it has all of, it's got the OLED uh, layout, which is a nice display. They've upgraded that and it's kind of their natural feel. It's just warranted uh, technology. You can kind of go through it the way it works, the way you think it works. But it also has availability, availability to transpose, split, and to go into duet mode. The one thing it's, it doesn't do, I think, multi-layering. It does have a recorder and a song recorder in it. And it's just an all around great package piano. It comes in right at around the $4,000 price. And you can spend more and get more up to the model with the soundboard or down to where you get models that have lesser amplification and lesser speaker and lesser polyphony. And with that, that is the CA501 Kawaii Concert Artist Series Piano, Digital Piano presented to you from Alamo Piano Galleries. Look for us for follow-up videos, more piano facts, and certainly interesting things about the piano and sales and prices and technology coming up. Thank you very much for your time. We'll see you next time around.